Yo, what's going on, guys? I am Pryoxis, and I am back with another fighter showcase. And as you can see, man, it's Darren the Gorilla Teal. I'm actually pretty lit to use him. We're going to go into, uh, look at his stats real quick. I'm tripping. All right, Counter Puncher level 3, Steel Checks level 3, and Ty Terror level 2. Now, what I don't like about this is he doesn't really have any real offensive um, perks. But it's all good. We're going to work with what he has. His striking is very good. Only thing that's not so great is that switch stance stat. If we go to the grappling, everything is pretty, pretty bad besides his uh, clinch throws and clinch grappling. But I, I think I could manage. Stamina is fairly decent. But uh, the grappling stamina is not that great, but I can, like I said, I can manage. His health is also decent as well, but I will have trouble if I go against like a Nick Diaz because my toughness is real low and my chin is, is fairly low compared to Nick's. But with that being said, going to practice mode, let's look at his actual strikes. Level 3 jab, level 3 Celtic cross. I don't know, some people may call it Celtic, some people may call it Celtic. Not sure, but... um. I believe Darren Till is a southpaw. I'm pretty sure he's southpaw. So rear hand, rear hand, level three, rear hand, level three. So his jab, I mean his cross, rear hook, also his lead, I mean rear uppercut is all level three, which is good. He has a haymaker. Nice. Has a back fist, lead elbow, rear elbow is level three too, which is good. He has a spinning elbow as well, but chances are I won't really throw those. Go to his kicks, level twos, level three roundhouse to the body. That's something I like to throw. Other than everything's just level two. And go over the. I don't really care about clinches. Don't care about takedowns. Don't care about the ground game really. Submissions either. And we go to his combos, level three boxing, level two kickboxing, and this is what I like to see: the level four Muay Thai combos. Now, the only combo that I care about is this one right here. Let that's find it. It's a lead low kick into a rear low kick. See if I can find it. Where is it at? Where is this combo? I'm not tripping. Where's this combo? There it goes. Right here, right here. Right here. Combo 78. Lead leg kick into a rear leg kick. I call them low kicks for the purpose of Muay Thai. So it's a lead low kick into a rear low kick or inside kick to an outside kick, whichever you want to call it. But that being said, I'm going to try to find a match and I'll be right back. All right, here we go. We're going against a Robbie Lawler five round fight. Um, I hope it, I hope, I hope, I hope one day these two fighters could actually fight each other. I think this would be a good fight. I, well, maybe I wish it could have happened, you know, early on in Darren Till's career when he was at one, uh, 170, but unfortunately he moved up to 185. And uh, this is what we were just going to have to deal with. But here we go, here we go, here we go. I said rear hand. The rear hand is level, level three to all the strikes to the head. Slow it down. Try to see what he's doing exactly. Throw a little inside. Low kick. Nothing major. Not trying to really do any damage. Just trying to, you know, fill him out. See what he's doing exactly. Okay, throwing those rear head kicks from way out there. I'm seeing them coming. Nice, that's the second one I landed on him. Okay, that was a nice mix-up. We're going back down to the body. Okay, he's throwing, he's throwing his strikes. Telegraphing them hard from way out there. Like, See? Oh, another inside low kick. Again, this guy's really telegraphing his strikes. Gotta be really gotta be careful. Oh, he gets rocked. I'm gonna try to tear his leg up. You know, I, you know I'm the low kick guy. <laughs> I'll try to, you know, get some body work in as well with the, the rear body roundhouse because it is a level three strike. This guy right here is. It's getting a little laggy. Whoa, 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 buddy.
Yeah, this, this man's just, I don't know. He's not really playing too intelligent. That's a nice low kick. He's throwing, he just he just throwing those kicks naked. He's don't putting nothing behind him, no setup. He's just throwing them and hoping they land. So yeah, he's not fainting, not doing anything. Just literally, he's literally just throwing them from outside. Like he's probably about to throw a head kick or something now. There he goes. Rocked him. Roundhouse to the body. Another roundhouse. And then a jab, jab, roundhouse. Oh. I didn't expect him to throw back, but he did throw, which caught me off guard. Low kick. I've landed a lot of inside low kicks. I haven't really threw the real one. I don't feel like I need to. I'm not really throwing these I'm not throwing these kicks to, for damage. I'm just throwing them for the purpose of him thinking about it. To get him thinking about it. Oh, nice. He pushes me. Yeah, he's probably about to throw a kick or an overhand or something. Trying to push me to the cage. All right, round ends. I'm expecting to throw something big at the end. Nope, he bows, nice. Cool, 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 cool. I did rock him, I believe, two times this round, and I landed a lot of, a lot of body kick. I mean, uh, leg kicks on him. It was inside. I'm sorry, inside low kicks, but I landed uh quite a few. So I, I'd say his leg isn't doing too great. Not bad, but it isn't doing too great. See, he's throwing all his punches from so far away. It's no setup. He's just throwing them. He got to be careful throwing kicks on me. I do have steel checks level three. And uh, I know I was do yesterday when I was uh when I was streaming, I played this Maz V doll and I was using head movement. And I want to explain to you guys, uh, you know, what exactly I do with my head movement. You know, I don't just throw my head around for no reason. Like I try to, you know, like a like realistic. You know, you don't you don't want to just move your head one way. And leave it like you, you want to you know slip and roll so I'll, I'll always slip to the outside oh I always want to slip to the outside I mean to the um, lead hand so I'll slip and then I'll roll but right now he's beat me deep again like I said if I see that I'll always, because if I slip and then just leave it there, he'll hit me with that overhand. But I can roll, you know? Or sometimes, you know, I will start off with a duck. He did rock me. Gotta be careful. Nice. That low kick is there all day. He's been giving me the low kick. Boom. He dropped all that kick from outside the pocket and I blasted on the three punch combination. See, I'm just landing it. Like I said, I don't I don't care if it does any damage to him. I just want him to get it to think about it. And if it happens to do damage, cool. That's fine. that that will accumulate over time. If someone allows you to kick them in their leg for free, it, like, it's going to accumulate over time. Rocks him. And I'm going to kick the leg. Boom, boom. Now, I threw that combo for the first time because I knew he I knew he let me uh, land that. Because he's thinking about his head. He switched stance to uh, orthodox. Probably because his leg. It's about to throw a head kick. I can feel the head kick. Oh, no, there goes the overhand. And round 30 seconds left, 32, whatever. Those are overhand. Go to the body. Jab, body kick. Gotta be careful because he could have threw a combination and hit me. Again, I just gotta play it slow, man. Just play it slow. He, he's really just, you know, beating himself right now with all these strikes he's throwing. Knock him down. I knew, I knew he was gonna try to throw something at the end of that round. 
something wild. So I was just going to 100% no matter what he did, I was going to sway backwards. And because I made that read and he swayed backwards, I was like, okay, now I can throw a strike. Because if if he just threw, like, punches, I wouldn't have tried to counter. But because I seen he whiffed that head kick, and I had enough time to go ahead and come forward with a cross. And it landed clean, knocked him straight on his butt. And that, and that probably gave me the round because he was beating me up. I and mean, he possibly could have had that round. But because of that knockdown, I believe that I won that round. Here we go as we go into, what's this, the third round? Yep, round three. Touch him up. Haymaker. Oh, nice. Again, guys, if you if you if you don't want to risk moving your head, just get out the way. Either block 100% or just get out the way. And to get out the way, you want to hit the left bumper or L1 on PlayStation and uh, flick the right stick towards your character's back. And in this case, it'll be to the left because Darren Till's back is towards the left. You know, if you if you 100% don't know what they're going to throw, right? Then just you just get out the way or block the safest thing you can do is block but if you want to just you know try to try to make them whiff you can sway back with going to my body a little bit nice oh I can, I can brawl a little bit, man. I can brawl a little bit. Your chin is not going to hold up. Kind of just pieced him up a little bit right there. I'm expecting him to throw like a body kick right now. There it goes. Leg kick. Ooh. Head kick. Nope. Okay, cool. Right now, it's just it's just the beginning of the end for this guy. It's really just the beginning of the end for him, man. Leg is chopped, his chin is screwed, and he's down three rounds. So he basically has to a miracle. But again, I'm not I'm not gonna rush the finish. I can rush the finish, but I'm not going to. I'm going to let the finish come to me. He's going to throw something that's going to leave him very vulnerable. And I'm just going to catch him from there. I don't have to throw big strikes to try to finish this guy. Because if he doesn't, I can either win the decision. Or I could, you know, capitalize off him making a major mistake. I don't want to make the mistake myself. And, you know, put myself in a position where I can be finished. And it's just sometimes you have to go to safe routes. You can't. You don't have to knock everybody out you play. You don't have to finish every fight, you know? Every fight doesn't have to be a, a KO or a submission finish. You know, those decision wins really, really help you learn some things. You know, a lot of times you chase that finish, you put yourself in a position to where you can be compromised and you can be finished yourself. You know, where BS happens, where you get caught at a vulnerable state, or you get caught, you know, whiffing, and then you get rocked, and then boom, finished. So, like I said, I can chase it. I can chase this finish till the cows come home. But why do that when I can literally just, just wait? Just technically, just wait. If he doesn't finish the fight, if he, he can win by decision, he can lose. He will lose by decision. And if he lets me, that was another knockdown. I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, yeah, nice. And he's going, like, chances are this guy's going to finish himself. Right now, he's just trying to walk me down. And he's throwing big strikes. But I, it's just not going to be enough. You know, I'm just going to block. I don't really have to use much head movement, you know, because he, he won't have much power because his stamina will be low. He will have full power on his first strike, but after that, you know, it, it, it dwindles because he has missing stamina. There goes a rock. Good night. I knew it. I went. I threw that combination because I knew his head was done for, and uh, I just rocked him, and his block was low, so I just jab cross, lead head kick. 
flash KO. Boom. The knee landed. <laughs> it wasn't even a shin to the dome. It was a knee to the dome. Look at that. One more time. Boom. Uh, okay, the shin kind of landed. But hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video. And we're going to jump into the next fight. I'll be right back. All right. Here we go. Here we go with another one. We're going against Georgia St. Pierre. Three round fight. I expect him to want to do a lot of wrestling, so I won't throw many kicks. I will throw a lot of punches. <laughs> I will throw a lot of punches. What the heck was that? All right. Oh boy. Oh boy. I can see where this is going right now. I can see where this is going right now. Yep. <laughs> Try to work the Try to work the body a little bit. Brody, you're not getting it that easy. Uh, I do not that, but whatever. To the ground we go. Just be patient. See what he's gonna do here. Oh, do not that. I'm gonna keep punching. Hopefully he punches. Oh, I want him to punch if I got the free, you know. Denies that. Boom. Go to sprawl. I, I ex He probably expected me to punch him a little. Like, that. I was gonna allow him to hit me a couple times. So he didn't expect that. Um, I'm, gonna let him, I'm gonna let him get these punches in. That's fine. So I'll, I'll try to get the side control transition because the grappling advantage does go up. Oh, he gets up. Uh, okay, the ref's still up. I was going to wait and get the side control. But I'm fine with the ref standing up as well. Switch stances because this ain't me. Oh, my. Oh, boy. We got one of these guys here. We got one of these guys here. You want to box in the pocket versus Darren Till? You can be my guest. <laughs> you can be my guest if that's what you want to do, bro. Red body kick. I'm gonna throw another red body kick. Everybody can. I only throw them when I feel as if uh, I will 100% land them. I'm not going to throw them freely because he can really do some damage to me. Or he also can take me down. Oh. Let, let me open up my cage of. <laughs> I mean, my. Yeah, open up my cage of little, you know, combinations. Movement. Nice. I knew he was going to try to do something, so I just threw that one for that. We're going to the second round. I think I've won this fight. He did get a nice uh, takedown on me. And uh, got inside control and threw... Got, uh, I think like one or two strikes on me, but other than that, I don't believe he did much damage to me, but you never know. You never know. There you go. See if he touches him up or he does the ankle picks. Uh, I thought he was going to go for the classic fake glove touch into an ankle pick. Head kick. Oh. Oh. Be careful now, GSP. Be careful now. Be very careful. This man is boxing with GSP. GSP does have a very good, a very good jab. I believe the highest level jab in the game. But you gotta be careful, like I said. <laughs> 
You're sitting in the pocket against Darren Till, man. I don't think that's a very smart idea, especially with GSP do this chin. Go to the body. Oh, man. He's kind of getting dogged this round. Getting dogged this round. As he would say, raw dog. Good fight, bro. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. Hope you guys enjoyed this showcase. I had fun doing it. Darren Till's a very fun fighter. Very fun fighter. But with that being said, guys, if you have not hit the like button, be sure to hit it. Be sure to subscribe if you are new. It will be highly appreciated. And I'm out. See this one more time, though. Mm -hmm. Boom! Peace out, guys.